Hey guys, um, I just wanted to talk real quick about something that I was kind of thinking about and it was just, I felt pretty significant so I wanted to talk about it with you guys and thought maybe this should be shared and especially among the community of people who are waking up or feel their way, you know, awoke or whatever. Um, we're always evolving but it really hits along the lines of like human greed and you know, thinking that the power is outside of us. And when I started waking up in my journey, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, it's all within you. You have everything you need within you. And I'm just like, you know, that's great and everything. But, you know, all right, whatever. I didn't really understand. And I was like, I'll just keep marching on and figuring it out and doing what I need to do and getting what I need to get. And even my Reiki teacher, you know, was like, when I started out my journey, I had tons of crystals and now she has like one and it's just like a human sized crystal, almost like a geode. So she just has it there. But, um, it's like, I don't need crystals anymore. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I didn't really understand it, but whatever. And so now as I've been working with more things, I'm starting to realize, you know, what that really meant and, and why they say that and how it's actually true. Um, you know, as I've been working with crystals and with tarot and other modalities, tools, basically, um, and realizing that like with crystals, I'd be drawn to them and then not drawn to them. I wouldn't need them after a while. Um, or tarot, I've been getting a lot from my guides recently that, you know, tarot is limiting you and they actually want me. It's not like I'll never use tarot but to where they want me to actually not use any tarot cards or guidance cards or just like one or something. They want me more to channel within myself and to work more with my guides because for one, there's other abilities within me that I, I haven't tapped into. I think tarot is a great tool um, to develop your intuition and to you know work on yourself and to learn things and for guidance and all of that. Um, but at, at some point, you know, you should always be learning and evolving. At least for me on my journey, it's coming to be where I guess it's like hindering me in, as far as what I'm channeling, what I'm able to pick up on, needing the validation of the cards, um, what I'm communicating with, what I'm picking up with, and also not strengthening my relationship with my own intuition, my own gifts, and my own guides. Um... But it was even more with everything of realizing like how Palo Santo even, um, you know, there's, I think it comes from two main places and one of them, I think they put a ban on and like they don't sell it out of there anymore because what the people used to do in those areas is when the tree fell, they would then, you know, thank the tree and harvest the Palo Santo and use it. And then as spirituality came about, they would start actually like taking the trees down themselves to harvest the Palo Santo for sale. And so one of the places stopped doing that to protect the trees. Um, and it's the same, like I've seen people even with some, um, maybe even overusing some animal medicines. I mean, I guess if you ask permission, it's fine, but even some planimal or planimal planet medicines, um, just certain things overusing it and the, the, the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom and the spirit kingdom, all those come to offer to help us to find that within ourselves, to find that vibration. Now, I know every now and then you might need its help to remember, like, we go like this in our lifetime, stuff happens, we can lower vibration, raise vibration, um, you learn tools to help try to keep you up, and sometimes they come in and assist, but the true, really what you really want to go for is to find that vibration within yourself to align with that tool you're you're working with, and it they come in a temporary way, because life ebbs and flows. It's never constant. So they come to help us out temporarily to remind that with which is already within us. And that goes for everything. So 
whether it's crystals, whether it's tools, whether it's animals, whether it's plant spirits, um, whatever it is, you know, humans have just this greed, this lack matrix. And even some people who have awakened um, are like, no, I'm not in lack. No, I'm not whatever. And they're still trying to gain everything they can and then hold on to it or, you know, not believe that they can access certain vibrations, a level of consciousness without utilizing certain plant spirits. And I know sometimes you can, or especially if you're a shaman and you're journeying and using it as medicine, but just that addictive over indulgent nature is always like, instead of being reminded by these things that they come to help us out and they offer their assistance to help us out, we now are like, cool, I can tap into this with your help. But we're still not fully getting the message. We're still seeing that ability or that power or that greatness or that whatever it is we want outside of us, external to us. I need this in order to feel this way or in order to access whatever it is you're trying to access, your greatness, basically. And that's not really true. I mean, after so many times or so long or whatever of you aligning to that, you should be able to tap into that vibration on your own. And it's been, if it's been a while, then yeah, after a while, like you could bring it back in to remind you. But it shouldn't be something that you always need or always have to use or always have to hold on to. Technically, we should be, if we're getting crystals, like in an ideal world, we should be, if we have crystals, we should utilize them, work with them, thank them, give energy back to them. We should always give energy back to whatever it gives to us or even the earth if it gives to us and it gives an abundance. We should return that abundance back to the earth and back to the world. And if we're not needing those crystals anymore, we should offer them out to other people and e even back to the earth, like put it back to the earth if you have to and give back like the earth. Mother earth is a living, you know, thriving being as well. And she needs us to give back to her as well. And the human mind is usually so greedy and it's just all about take, take, take. And we rape the earth in the same way that many men and many people and women are raping each other and destroying each other and taking from each other. And really, technically, we should, you know, utilize to get what we need. And then the abundance that comes from that, we then give back, whether it's to another person to pay it forward or whether it's back to mother earth or back to the plant spirit or back to the animal spirit or the etheric realm, whatever it is that gave to us, we should be giving back. We shouldn't be taking it as though I need, I need, this brings me my greatness. I don't have, I can't get there without that. So let me, uh, let me get and hold on, get and hold on, take, take, like, if everybody kept doing that, like, and what made me think of this too was, and I know there's additional people growing it, but with the amount of people that are waking up and wanting to do ayahuasca and wanting to do certain, you know, plant medicines, which is great. Like they're offering their assistance to us. Um, they even noticed in some places like shortages of that just because of over harvesting and trying to like capitalize on it and just losing all of the stuff that was, in it, in its heart and soul in the first place. And I just kind of take this as something to remember, even for the people who are awakening, who think they're awakened already, all of that to remember that this isn't about raping the earth. This isn't about taking the earth. If we are taking from mother earth faster than a, we are replenishing it with either giving back the abundance it has given to us or allowing it time to heal, which would mean stop taking from it at certain periods so that it can replenish what has been taken from it. And then we either give back those things or we circulate them so that we don't have to keep taking from other Mother Earth. 
it, unless we do that, A, that's not that awakened. I mean, with much love, that's not awake. That's you realizing other resources in the world or whatever. And now you want to tap into your ability. And that's great and all much love, but you're not fully getting it. I mean, we always learn. We're not always fully getting it, but you're not fully getting it. You're not getting that fully connectedness to the earth and seeing that symbiotic relationship and that reciprocal and of take and give and love and that I am you and you are me. It's of a me, me, me still. You know, if you're just like, I need this crystal. I need this deck. I need this stuff. I need these tools, these stones, these, this medicine, that, I need that. Like you're just like, doo -doo -doo, and you're just holding it. Um, yes, for a period of time, you need to do that. But like I said, we need to give back. You know, if we receive abundance, we need to give back some of that abundance that we got. Or we need to circulate it and or circulate it so that Mother Earth or whatever resource is offering to help us out and assist us has time to also replenish their own cup, their own needs, their own resources. Like, how are we ever going to live in this world in a way that we want in this evolved and thriving way? I mean, it's a mirroring as above, so below, as within, so without. So... The condition of the world and the condition of all these things, animal spirits, plant spirits, all of these things, they're going to mirror what's going on within us. And what's going on within us is going to mirror that. We have to understand that we have to give back and show thanks to this. And showing thanks isn't just saying a prayer. I mean, that's great. You can have the intention. You can send all the energy and that's great. But let's remember that part of that is giving it back. If you get so many crystals... Give a crystal back. If you get so much food, you know, some people in some cultures, like they'll dig a hole in every part of their food or their so many bites, they will give back to Mother Earth just to thank for that abundance that was given to them. So that we can also share with each other what we've been given so that those resources have a, a, a way and time to replenish themselves. Like, how are we supposed to literally build this world that we keep talking about and, and heal the world and bring it to a place that we want it to be of enlightenment and love and abundance and just a higher way of being and we can't even get past our own greed? We can't even get past a simple concept of give and take, equal reciprocation. That the world is a living thing too. You know what I mean? Like you're not just going to keep taking and taking and taking. Like say you have a child, you know what I mean? Are you going to just keep taking from them, taking from them and taking from them without giving back to them? No, you're not going to do that. I hope not. It should be treated in the same way that anything that we receive from, we need to give back. And I really, I understand, but at the same time, I don't really understand why people are not getting this about giving back. If, if she's a living being and there are vibrations, like factual scientific energy and vibrations what makes us think that she's going to continue thriving and doing well when the same things we're looking for to help us and to survive and to thrive and to replace and raise our energy is the same thing that we are overindulgently taking from her? And I'm not saying this in a way of like, let's not or whatever, you know, ask permission, give thanks. But you have to think about it. Think about the amount of people that are waking up on this planet and that more and more in this wave of spirituality and all this stuff that's happening and more people want to use Palo Santo, which by the way, you don't have to use Palo Santo. There are, or sage even, there are plenty of things. You could burn cinnamon and do the same thing. You could do whatever you want, whatever calls to you, whatever intention you have. 
There are plenty of things we can use. We don't need to just sage is great, Palo Santo is great, but there are plenty of things we can use. But that's just the way, it's the fixed way of the human mind. And this is one of the parts of the matrix and the lack and one of the mind frames that we're going to have to work through is not only seeing the abundance of everything we have available to us and setting with our own power and intention as well, but also knowing we have to give back. How is she supposed to heal and thrive if we are taken from her? And if that many people are waking up and now all of a sudden we want more and more crystals, we want more and more wood, we want more and more herbs, we want more and more plant spirit medicine, we want more and more of all this stuff without giving back, planting more, replacing it, giving it time to replenish itself at the same time that we're waking up and we're like, yay, we're going somewhere and the earth is going to get better. I just wanted to give a little thought, like how many people thought of that? How many people have thought about how much stuff right now is being taken from the earth, especially because of how many people are waking up? How much more we're having to find and dig into faster than the earth can probably replenish it. Now, let's think of energy. Let's think of what we're wanting it to do within us. To move energies, to ground energies, to hold energies, to replace energies. I mean, so many things we're asking it to do. It also does that for the earth. So all these things we're wanting assistance with from all of this to heal, revitalize, grow, stay living in a balanced way. We're trying to get for ourselves and the earth is a mirror of us. Yet we are removing it in a hastened, I think that's the right word, state We need to remember as we're waking up, and that's great that a lot of people are starting to look at these tools and resources again to help us remember what's already in us. We don't take the vibration of whatever that tool is or medicine or whatever. We use it to remind us what that vibration feels like within ourself. So that we know how to tap into that on us on our own. It's here to remind us of our own power, of our own potential, of our own abilities and ways of being. Not to hold on to it in a way of, I need you to be this way, but in a way of, oh, that's right. It was in me after all. I just forgot and I didn't know how to access it. It's to teach us how to access it. And every now and then, yes, like if yours lowers and you need the help from it, or maybe you went through like a, a death in the family or something really hard that you're just drowning in your emotions and you need a little bit of help, then yeah. And then trust in the universe too, that it will provide that back to you in that moment when you need it. Abundance, abundance mindset. To hold on to something and try to get as much of it as you can and to overgo into it or need it, or indulge in it, is still a lack mindset. I just want people to remember this, because I hear so many people who are in, like, you know, this spirituality, and waking up, and I don't hear a lot of talk about this, Ooh, excuse me, and I don't hear a lot of talk about this, and I think it really should be, because I don't want there to be a created illusion that, oh, yay, all these people are waking up. It's going to help the planet. It's going to help human beings, the human civilization. But if you really think about it, if we're waking up and we're starting to use all these earthly resources more than we even have before, And we're not truly healing that lack concept, that lack matrix and that lack mind frame and the the greediness of it and the powerlessness and remembering that it's within us. We should be able to reach that vibration on our own. We should be able to even like journey. And if like you'll know what I mean if you're on this path, like to be able to journey on your own. 
So yes, use it sometimes, especially if you're doing like medicine or, you know, shamanistic medicine type stuff and helping others. There's a reason you're doing it, but just be careful um, not to overuse things or feel like you have to use X, Y, Z or always use this plant medicine or this crystal or this tool or this tarot deck or whatever to be able to access what is actually within you. Remember it's in you because at that point we're doing these things of disservice that are coming to help us out and assist us because there isn't us wanting to like become dependent on them. Love is freedom. Thanks is freedom. Gratitude is freedom. Not to hold on to or rape or diminish or deplete or anything like that. And that's another thing. If you are using these tools, besides gratitude, besides giving thanks and all of that, how are you giving back? Are you ever giving life to the earth because this is really where all these tools come from, is the earth. Besides just the spirits on their own. But a lot of the ones I'm talking about are tied to like plants or animals or, you know, the earth or whatever. Are you giving any of them back? Or are we just digging them up? Are we circulating them to other people? Or are we just keeping them? Are we planting more? Or are we just taking I mean, even the, you know, the, the tarot, like tarot cards. I mean, they're like going crazy with the amount of people are buying them in the different types. What more resources are we using with that? And that's fine. Like people should be able to have the stuff they want. But like I said, we have to keep this in moderation and keep this in mind and remember what resources we're using and just what, what are we giving back? I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point, but I just have to say like, it's being shown over and over again how much we are taking and how little we are giving back. Um, and it just kind of occurred to me with the amount of people that are waking up and how much more stuff we're going to be needing for that amount of people that are waking up. If we keep depleting the earth to match the amount of people that are waking up, we're going to be in trouble faster than we thought, even though a lot of people are waking up because the human mind and all the people who are awakened or at a different perception at the least have not grasped the concept of that we're supposed to be giving to each other, giving an exchange, not only with the earth, but with each other. So just a little reminder for the people who are waking up and who are already, you know, quote, quote, awakened, um, please don't. Forget about this. Yes, there is abundance. But there's also a concept of moderation and balance and respect and give and take and remembering that it's within you. Because all I keep seeing in my mind's eye is how much we're taking and taking and taking. I mean, there's literally like, you know, things you can go on. I, I forgot what they're called, but like little journeys or whatever like crystal digging whatever but a lot of them and there's always crystals and they're finding more and more and digging up more and more to find them because it's a hot thing for money right now excuse me plant medicine ayahuasca animal stuff animal spirits crystals Whatever, whatever stuff you need. Feathers. You get it. So I'm not going to keep going over and over on this. Um, I just wanted to remind you that we are on our way, hopefully, to a better place. But just because we're waking up doesn't mean we're going on our way to a better place. People need to take accountability and take responsibility. And remember to do your part. In having an equal give and take, not only with each other, but with the earth and giving back. What sense does it make to keep taking crystals? I mean, I know it's like, oh, why should I have to do that? You know, the earth has so much. We, we don't know. And trust me, we're, we're digging it up probably at an alarming rate because we're going to need to keep up with the amount of people who are waking up. So just think how much we're going to be taking out of the earth. 
Think how much ayahuasca is going to be needed for all the people that want to do it now. Think how much crystals are going to be taken out of the earth. Think how many animal things, animal parts, animal spirits, whatever, are going to be taken. Paper, trees. You get it. Just think about it. Unless it starts coming out fake, which most of them are not. Let's just make sure that we're giving back even a percentage of what we're taking. And not only to the earth, but to each other. And offer gratitude, healing energy, because just as much as we're using it to sustain and thrive, Mother Earth also uses it to sustain and thrive. I don't know if anybody ever looks at it like the earth needs crystals. If it's a living being, why wouldn't it need crystals? Why wouldn't it need the trees? Why wouldn't it need all the things that we find that help us as well? Yet nobody ever really thinks about that. Like nobody ever really sees that because it's a living being, this is factual. Nobody ever sees it like the earth needs it. I mean, why wouldn't it? You don't think it's going to develop it because it needs it? Like, it's not just there to be like, here's for the humans, here's for the humans. No, it's doing it within its own balance and thriving too. And luckily, it does have an abundant mind frame to where it does grow enough to take care of it. So it does have enough to offer us and assist us and teach us. But unfortunately, a lot of humans in human society does not have an abundant mind frame and they're greedy and they take and they don't give back. Which means now at this point, we're not just like, thanks for helping us. We're depleting it of its own resources that will keep it alive. And like newsflash, in case anybody can't figure this out. The earth is also our home. It's also our survival. So let's not be dumb. I say that with love and respect. Don't be dumb. Hopefully this message gets to more people to where they realize and just they just didn't think about it most people don't think about it you know they, they take for granted that the earth doesn't need anything oh well it's just a crystal that's cool it's just something cool that grew in the ground i mean come on it's energy that we are taking out of the ground to help and sustain ourselves you don't think it's doing that for the earth as well so please just keep this in mind going forward and to all of society and whoever gets this message, please remember in everything in life, give and take. Give thanks of all your abundance you get. This is where, you know, the church, whatever, but of the give 10% or whatever, a lot of these things actually do apply. You know, you could say, you know, well, it actually is based on a good thing, maybe not for the reason they state, I don't know, but it's that way of giving thanks. Whatever abundance you receive, you know, if you get so many crystals, give one back to the earth, plant it and thank here, use this energy. Thank you so much. You know, if you're using plants and using trees, plant some back, give back in whatever way you can. Even with animals, you get what I'm saying. Be creative. There's so many ways on this. I just wanted to give you this little something and let you guys spark it off from there in your ways of giving back. There's a million different ways, and unfortunately, most people don't even do a couple of them. So please don't let our spirituality go to our head and let these things that are assisting us also run us faster to our own detriment. Because we couldn't pull our heads out of our butts fast enough to realize what we were doing. So I love you guys. I'll be seeing and talking to you soon. And keep your head up and thank you for everything. I love you. Bye.